Hello there and welcome back again. I'll be talking about the topic of fear that I have done through some case history on the various clients who came to consult me about the subject of fear. Either it happened to them, their children, their relations. I found that people who have this fear phobia are usually when the K2 planet or K2 influence is in the 12th house. These people seem to carry the fear with them wherever they go. Also, when K2 affects the sun, so K2 is fear phobia, affect the sun, affect their life. So they become overly cautious, they become very tense, like people are doing them in or a situation whereby they always feel like they're being misunderstood. Get to affect Mercury and the fear is always about they're hearing noises. Why is the noise seem to be circling around the house? Why are they hearing cracking sounds or hearing like as if there were certain noises in certain places and they can't see where the noise comes from? Like as if a haunting house, so to speak. As well as when K2 affect the fourth house, they find that a kind of that feeling is always being tampered with. As if when they go to sleep and when they get up like someone smack them or someone wake them up and right in front of them they are seeing visions of people, of faces, of flowers, of colors, of all kind of unexplainable objects. There was this client whose daughter went overseas for study. She lived by herself and after some time, about six months into her studies, she started to show a lot of fear afraid of going out, afraid of opening the door. She complained that she don't know why she hear like the aeroplane is on the top of the roof. And at the same time, she feel like she's seeing people outside the house who are in, like as if they are standing there looking in suspiciously and she gets frightened and she gets so disturbed. I happened to be in Australia at that time doing consulting with clients and her mom asked me if I could go with her mom to their home to visit their daughter and see what the whole problem was about because the daughter had threatened to do away with herself committing suicide as well as 
she won't even dare to come out of her room. Like as if she's being haunted all over the place. The mom was badly in tears. The dad was miserable. And they knew me personally. So they somehow felt I had a kind of a ability to help that kid. And I am very compassionate when it comes to people who have this sort of a problem or those who need some experience of how to get himself back in order. So we went to her home and the daughter was just sitting at one side of the room talking to dolls. She had one doll, her favorite doll, and she was talking to the doll. I knew this wasn't right. In fact, my hair stand. I start to feel bad vibes. I knew she was at the tail end of her sanity probably. If we didn't get there in time, it might. God knows what will happen. So I went over and somehow or the other after a while I talked to her distracting questions like how are you, how's your study and all that. Then she told me, Uncle, I'm very frightened. At home, in, back home in Singapore, I feel so comfortable, I have so many people around me, but I'm here being alone and this is my first time being alone overseas. That fear is overwhelming. And I tried to pacify her by asking her small questions. I said, I heard from your mom you were complaining about noises above the roof and all. Then she said, yes, I hear aeroplane. Then I told her, yes, you definitely will hear aeroplane because you are not living too far away from the airport. The generally called airport but it's not very far away. So every now and then there will be a plane that will fly over the roof. And she said, I never thought about that. But she said, I always see like somebody is either looking at me or somebody is following me. So I told her, okay, for the next week, your mom and I, or even your dad, will bring you out. We are going to go out together. She said, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. So I said, do you trust your mom and dad? Oh yes, I love them, I trust them and everything. Then I said, I'm here to help you. You will find, you just trust me, one week. Or even don't trust me. Trust your dad and mom. You know them better. You do not know me too well. But trust them. Have faith in them. Just for one week. Every day, we'll go out to this shopping center, to this place, to that place. So you can see around, look around. She said, no, no, no. And then eventually she conceded, okay. When we brought her out, to the airport area. She said, you look, look, look at that man there. He's looking at me. Look at look at that. And we said, no, I, I know that man. He works at that corner canteen in that place. I've seen him many times. Then she accepted the fact. And when she walked, she was like a cripple. I guess if you have to drag her to walk, she just as it became paralyzed. But I told the mom and dad, you hold one side of her hand and the other side of the hand. And don't be afraid. She'll be afraid, but don't be afraid for her. Trust that she will get better. And then we went out to different complexes on one floor to the other, this, that, all. She seemed to 
always have something to complain. But after four or five days, she became more confident. She, be, she started to smile again. She started to get her cheerful self back, her self-confident back. And praise the Lord, she was cured. The mom and dad were so happy and all that. They say, I will never forget your kindness. Regardless of whatever. My purpose is to help if I can. Not every time I can do things that I can do, but why I could help this particular lady, this young girl, this brilliant university student, is because I did go through some of that kind of experience with my own relations and family members when they had that problem. So being an old fella who have seen it before, I could relate my experiences and help this particular client through. And with that, I end this segment. My name is Roy Rutley from the Royal Astrologist.